Okay. Anybody want to have church? Okay. I'd love to. Huh? You want to have church? You want to church? Come on, step up. Let's do it. Guys, uh, we had a death last week in, uh, in a camp. Harry Childress died, age 55, way too young, military veteran. Um, some of you know him, some of you don't. But I'm going to tell you this, uh, I'm going to miss Harry Childress. I'm going to miss him. He's a good man. Um, he helped me with ministry work when we did our Christmas Day with the homeless. Uh, and we just brought a toy on Christmas Day. We fed 450 something homeless people uh, bring, you know, a lasagna meal from uh, Olive Garden. We're going to do that again this Christmas Day. So if you're still out here on Christmas Day, we're going to find a way to just brought a toy and we're going to feed you a good meal on so Christmas Day. We're going to have Christmas the whole time. this past week and uh you know life's not uh, <coughs> not guaranteed to us today or even that's one reason that uh, well, that's one reason I, I come out here I come out here to have church with you guys to bring you closer to God Bring you an opportunity to have a church. Take communion so you understand. By taking communion, and you have a chance to connect with God and ask Him to forgive you for your sins and acknowledge Him as God and as a Savior that paid the price for your sins. Okay? That's what eternal life is all about. That's what a relationship with God is all about. If you think you're going to be perfect, give that up, okay? But that ain't going to happen. He knows that. But there is no excuse not to give him the acknowledgement for that communion that we take and recognize that Jesus broke his body and shed his blood to die for us. Okay? That's the most important thing. We want to feed you guys physically and, ha and help you get physically but much more important we feed you spiritually so that you've got a connection with God. That's our purpose and mission. We don't just come out here and give away food and, you know, for any reason. We do it so you get a connection with God and you know God loves you. He sent us out here to love on you guys because he loved on us. He loved on us. And we, we care with you for that reason. Uh, that's why we can choose to do this ourselves. Any prayer requests? My father just passed away. My father passed away. I'm so sorry. How old were you? I'm sorry? 57. 57. What's your name? Brian. Brian? Uh, Lena. Else. Yes, sir. Uh, <coughs> my wallet was stolen. My driver's license, the social security card. I, I had an opportunity for a job. They got a copy of my driver's license. Who is this? Hire Quest. Hey, guys. Hire Quest. But uh, one thing, I don't have access to a computer. The library is closed. But anyway, the Social Security is not open. You can only go online to apply for your Social Security card. Yeah, my it car. comes back on your phone yeah. that the application is completed. Yeah, you have my car. They will not, that's not, they want something in hard writing like the temporary card. You have my car. I do. Okay, you call that number and leave your cell phone number. And tell I me. don't have it. So my phone is You don't have a phone? No. And nobody, I mean, there's nobody that you get down to Main Street and drive to Metro City. I was there, the, trying to get my social security card the other day. Metro Center? Well, there, it's the job it's center. Center about social security office. 655 Metro Center like is the Tennessee government job site, and they have staff there to help you just those problems. But then, what's crazy? You know, I get it. You've got a process, it. and it's, it's just not, so even, messed up. It's it's not even. But they can cut through it for you, and they have and computers they, at your access. 
I've been, okay. man, I've been two weeks, I think. Eight to uh, four thirty, uh, Monday through Friday. You go down there, right. and they'll help you, and they'll show you the community to do your thing. But my prayer request is for ignorance and incompetence. Are you are you talking about Park Center? Is that the facility uh, that you're talking about, or sir? Is it read? Are you no. referring to Park Center? No. I was wondering if he maybe needed directions or help getting there. I could walk him there. Yeah, I'm talking to, about the Government Jobs uh, Center and uh, Metro on. Center, Mainstream Drive. Okay. Yes. Rosa Park, you get on Rosa Park. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I right. thought Park Center helped with that too. Yeah. Health and our freedom. And uh, most importantly, for us, God's grace. I know. Yeah, we're just I was wondering. Huh. Anybody else out there? Anybody else out there? I got another. I've got a guy in my camp. He's 52. He's overweight. He's got a bad heart. I've been trying to help him, but he's taking up a lot of my time. Can't get out of this in valley. So I'm just praying for him to have divine intervention to get him someplace where he can live comfortably <coughs> and survive. Because I can't take I'm not a nurse and I need to be really bad health. Uh, I like to he used to pray for me and my girl. He went to the hospital last night. I still haven't heard any information. He said that she, they would, you know, let her call in the morning. But I, I still haven't had a response or anything from her. I just knew it was kind of bullcrap because they wouldn't give me inf any information on it or whatever. They were, because of COVID-19, wouldn't let me into the facility. Well, they said that they had taken her phone away. Well, they didn't know I had mine in my pocket. They didn't think I had a phone or anything like that. Well. I pulled my phone out and she was she was typing. You know what I'm saying? I could see her typing on message. They tried to tell me that they had taken her phone away from her. She did not have her phone. That she was in because the last message I got from her right then, as they were trying to tell me that bullshit, was they're putting me in a crazy jacket. Watch your life. Man, I'm a rebel, Bubba. You know what? I'm honest and god dang it, I'm blunt. But you know what? When people don't take care of people and they're at the facility where they're living at that. Oh, but I'm just saying, if you're a doctor and you don't want to help somebody that's... I understand that, yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. That part, I understand, but if you don't help people that's already done, came off the streets, you're a doctor, how many times you done been to the hospital they didn't fix that honey on her stomach? She's been out there four years with that honey on her stomach. That woman's been through hell. And when she's sitting there crying and begging them to help and they just put her in a crazy jacket and throw her on after she done swallowed some pills? Not, not try to help her, pump her stomach, something. Just send her back out. She, they said that she was going to give me a phone call in the morning. I still have not got a phone call. I'm not a text, nothing. And I know her. She would get it immediately as soon as she was able to. What's your name? My name is Robert Whitney, sir. I was homeless out here for three years. Kimberly Senator. Well, she might know her. I don't know. If, I don't know if any of yours from Home Street Home or... Uh, something ministries. There's so many of them that was helping, you know, under the bridge. Uh, my library. Man, I, I thank you guys. Uh, it's very thankful. If you know, if you guys are out here for these guys, man. I look proud for them. I just think it'd be better if y'all, you know, I pray for instead you, of making them, making them out there you. and jump high, like work at their jobs on this bullshit ass. Uh, Watch your language. My bad. Again, I'm sorry. I slip. I get. I get mad at these job sites, uh, like, like, uh, what's it called? What's that one day labor place where you can go all day? Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. That place. That place is a good place, man. That's a good place, too. But this other metro thing, I don't trust it. To be honest, because look, they're pronouncing people dead of the coronavirus when they ain't even left the scene of the incident. They're just walking out with a nurse, you know, thinking they're okay. And they're producing the scene before they left the, you know, the facility. You, you look at the media, guys. This is bullshit. The country, the country, you, the country is becoming That's it. That's it. All right, I'm going. Go. Right. The country is corrupt, man. You're trying to send him a job to go work for Metro? Man, there's other places available. He can get help, man. Go to Park Center, man. Go help. Anybody else
got a prayer request. So let's do them like a prayer request. How y'all doing? Y'all don't need to speak back there. Come on up here. <laughs>
you have, folks. Jesus. Jesus. You have a better existence, folks. Please open the doors. You heard these prayer requests. Open the doors and honor those who humble themselves before you and ask for prayer. That is not this. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.